Hi y'all, welcome to Cozy Meal Studios where the vibes are immaculate and the food is just absolutely delicious. My name is Yanni. Today we're making an Italian gnocchi recipe. Gnocchi is a delicious and comforting Italian pasta dish that has been enjoyed for quite literally centuries. This dish can be served with a variety of sauces, tomato sauce, pesto, creamy cheese sauce. I mean, you name it, the possibilities are endless. Having a food this versatile means you can really, really cater it to your own tastes and preferences. Gnocchi is super easy to make and just even that much easier to fall in love with. Before we begin, do me a little favor and drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, tap on that little notification bell. We're gonna start by bringing a large pot of water to a boil. We're gonna cook our potatoes in this water. We're going to boil them for 30 to 40 minutes. You know you're done when you can easily pierce them with a fork. You're gonna take the potatoes out of the boiling water when they're tender, and you're going to peel them while they're still hot. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but it is so, so important to do this while they're warm because the skin will quite literally slip right off. I happen to be a little baby and I can't handle hot potatoes. So I usually put an oven mitt on my hand. I put the potato in the mitt and then I'm peeling it. After dinner's done, just throw the oven mitt in the wash. It cleans like that. It's so, so, so quick. Take the skinned potatoes and then mash them with a potato masher or a fork. Spread your potatoes out in a big mound. You're gonna shape them into like a volcano. So this means you're gonna push down the center and create like a groove or a crater here in the middle. In this crater, you're gonna crack your eggs in and then add a pinch of salt. So you're gonna beat the eggs a little bit with the salt in the middle and then you're gonna slowly incorporate it into the mashed potatoes. Slowly, you're gonna add flour to this mixture, incorporating it little by little. So you're gonna need this for about five to eight minutes. The goal is to have a dough that is no longer sticky. The final texture of the dough that we're looking for is a dough that is compact and smooth and elastic. So take the dough, shape it into a little ball, cover it with just a little bit of flour, just sprinkle it on top. Let this rest for about 10 minutes so the gluten and the starches can fully absorb the water that's in the dough and completely hydrate. After the 10 minutes, cut a piece of the dough roll it out into like a half inch thick cylinder. Cut the gnocchi into half inch wide pieces. They're gonna look like the cutest little pillows in the world. At this point, we have to check on the consistency of the gnocchi. We have to do a little batch test. We're gonna bring a small pot of water to a boil and test a few of these gnocchi pieces in the salted water. If the dough is too soft, add a little bit of flour to it. But if the dough is too hard, you just have to know for next time, don't add as much flour to this. If all looks good, finish cutting the rest of the dough, make more of these cute little pillows. You're gonna boil these in the salted water for about 60 seconds. The fun thing about gnocchi is when you first put them in the pot, they're gonna be like in the middle, bottom of the pot. And then once they're finished cooking, they're gonna float to the top. You'll know immediately if they're done. Take your gnocchi and serve it with your favorite sauce. It is so versatile, it is so easy. Y'all, you have to give this dish a try. If you like this recipe, please go down to the description box. We have the full thing there. Or if you'd prefer, go to cozymeal.com recipes. Y'all, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that like button and hit subscribe for more recipes like this one. Chefs on Cozy Meal have been absolutely kicking some butt to bring you some of the most delicious recipes on the planet. So make sure you're subscribed, okay? We've got a lot more where this is coming from. As always, my name is Yanni. Mwah. Until next time.